Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chloe and I sell things on eBay to earn a living. Today's video is going to be another wholesale, well like a wholesale order um, of things that I've bought to sell online. Um, I have done a couple of these in the past, I will probably link one up there. Uh, if not, if I forgot, um, they will be on my channel so just scroll through the videos until you come across one. I think I did them a couple of weeks ago. Um, there is a very similar kind of order anyway. Uh, it is an apparel order. Um, it is from a website called Brit Deals. I will leave them linked in the description. So yeah, let's dive straight into it. Like I say, it's very similar to the last one. Um, I do also have a few sales videos up since then, so you can see how things have sold. Um, but they've been selling quite well. I'm quite pleased with how they've sold. Um, this box was described as shelf pools. Um, so I believe that some, but sorry, I do believe that some of them are also returns. Um, just because some of them are damaged, there is damage to some of them. Um, but then some of them, like we'll say first item, some of them is box damage, so they can't sell them. Um, but stuff like this sells online absolutely fine because I can take them out the box or I can just sell them as damaged box. So first item is this sloggy basic plus premium comfort bra. Um, I'm not, I haven't researched the price on these yet, um, but I will do some research and pop screenshots of prices that I do find on the side, just so you can see like what sort of price things are going for. But yeah, there's that first one, first item is a Sloggy's Basic Soft Bra, it's called, and this is in a size 40C. This is the Double Comfort Tie Briefs, I've had these before. I think I've sold these so already as well before. These are in a size 12. Oh, how many is in there? I think this is just one pair. Um, I think just one pair. I think it's probably about 11 99 I do sell all the underwear free postage as well, but it's been selling really quickly. Um, yeah, I think that's 11 99 for one pair. Okay, what have we got here? Some Calvin Klein's. Oh, these were men's actually. I think these were men's Calvin Klein's, were they? Yeah, I think these were men's Calvin Klein's jock straps, which actually sell surprisingly well. Um, I think there's two in there, and I think they, these were going to sell for around about £20, but I'll put them up there in case I am wrong. And then we've got here, we've got more. Oh, this was a sloggy bra i think i think it was like the zero feel or something like that zero feel like crop bra can't remember how much this goes for but again i will put that up there these things are really easy to store as well i'm finding storage really easy and it's really quick to i've found a really good inventory system as well so it's really really quick to like pull them when it's time to ship oh these are the spanx thongs i've already sold some of these and they sold literally in less than 24 hours i sold them for 16.99 free post so i might put these up for maybe like 18.99 this time um these are in a smaller size i sold a media these are an extra small um i'll put my solds up there so you can see what they look like but yeah these are the spanx thong and these sold really quickly okay we've got some sea folly got a few sea folly items in this one which is a good brand if you didn't see my last video it's um sea folly is quite a good swimwear brand it's a, there you go. i mean i should probably get about probably list this for about 35 to 40 the swimsuit i'm not sure what it'll actually go for but i'll probably list it for about 35 to 40 it's just really nice like plum Plum purple colour. Um, I think it's a size 16 as well. Yeah, UK 16. But there's the tag C Folly. It's a good brand to look out for for swimwear. Right, we've got some clothing as opposed to like just underwear. Um, these are, I don't know whether there's any damage to these ones. I mean, I've seen a couple of items that are damaged. I've not seen any damage to these. These are the Mamalicious. Um, this says Jersey Skirt. However, it's not a skirt. Does that actually say jersey skirt on it? Yeah, it says jersey skirt on the sticker. But it's not a skirt. It's a pair of jeggings. Um, maternity by the brand Momalicious. 
pair of maternity like over bump jeggings i will have to check the condition because like i say a few of the items that i've had these are in size small um a few of the items that i've had they've obviously been like damaged returns um I mean, not that I can't sell them still, I can still sell them and a few of the things that I can repair myself and sell, um, but there's been a few that I was quite disappointed with. I'm just being like, in case you want to go and buy one of these yourself, I just want to be completely honest. Um, I'm in no way affiliated, by the way, with Brit Deals, it's just who I'm using at the minute um, to source from. Um, yeah. I found that a few of the items were damaged but they do state that they are shelf pulls um, so they're not in perfect condition they're not in brand new condition you can buy brand new condition items from them uh, but I have not I've chosen not to go down that route because it's a lot more expensive but yeah I can't tell if there's any damage on these yet but I'll look into that into a bit more detail but yeah I'm not sure whether Mamalicious is a great brand or or what but Maternity always does okay. Right, what next? Um, we've got a few dresses by the brand only, which I don't think is a great brand. Um, I won't show you all of them. I mean, this one's got a really nice material. It's but it's got the lensing Eco Vero material that I know they use at Monsoon as well on some Monsoon items. Um, it's just more of like an eco-conscious, um, sustainable material. Um, it's quite a nice summer dress, but there's just no value to them really. I might stick these ones on Vinted instead. I mean, this was £22 brand new, size 12. They're, they're nice enough and they're brand new with tags. I mean, again, I haven't checked to see if there's any damage, but I might stick these on Vinted for... I don't know, like seven or eight pounds, just to get some of my money back on them. Right, okay, again we've got sloggies, these are the sloggy double comfort shorts, the box is very squished and a bit gross, a bit dirty, so what I'll probably do is I'll probably actually just take those out of the box, that one, because it's got some, something all over the back of it, if it was just damaged I wouldn't bother. I'd just sell the, I'd, I'd keep it in the box, but because the box is actually dirty, I don't want to sell it in a box that's dirty, because that is gross. They are in a size 14, and like I said, they are the double comfort short. I will put them up there. I can't remember what all of these go for. There's so many different varieties, and I've sold so many different varieties now that I have not got a clue what they go for, but I'll put it on the screen. Again, yet yeah, more sloggies. Um, these ones are a nicer colour though. Usually they're just black, white or nude. Um, these are purple. And they don't usually come in a ha like come with a hanger. So not sure what those are all about. But they're in an extra small. They look like they could be a thong. But they might be a brief or a short. But no idea. If I find out what they are, I'll put them on the screen. I tried to pick a box that didn't have too much clothing in. Um, because I found with the last boxes, the clothing that I got was a lot more, not, hmm, it wasn't a lot more damage, but the clothing was the stuff that did have the damage. Um, excuse my dog behind me having a drink. Um, the clothing was the stuff that was more damaged. Um, whereas the underwear, none of it really was damaged. It was the clothing that was. Oh, this is all men's. This is literally a bag of men's boxes. I think this is all FM London. Yeah, this is all FM London. Just men's black boxer shorts, all brand new. Just no tags or no box. It all just came in this bag. Um, there's not really any a huge amount of uh, value to those ones, but I'm sure I can probably get a tenner for them. I think there's about I think there's about ten pairs there. I might be able to get like ten pounds plus postage, something like that. Uh, this is another only dress, I believe. Um, it's a white dress. I think it's another only dress, anyway. I've not opened it. I did have a little look through this last night, but 
I'd literally just just got back from hospital. Had to have a look. Um, because I was I I ordered it literally like when I was in hospital. I was spent a week in hospital and I ordered this because I was bored and impatient, and I was sat sat in bed with nothing to do. So I ordered this box of stuff. And then as soon as I got home, I wanted to have a look at it. So I was, like I said, I was impatient. No, this is not only. This is by the brand S. Oliver. Very pretty, but it should have uh, probably missed the season now. It's more summer. I hope it's not marked or anything. But it is very pretty. It's just, it's not got a tag on. So I'm guessing somebody has returned it. Because it doesn't fit and they've taken the tag off. Um, but yeah, definitely missed miss the season now for this but it's got nice uh nice wooden buttons can you see those um it's very nice it's just the wrong season now i'll have to hope that it doesn't have any marks or holes in it because there is no tag on it but i will have a look in that in be better better detail and um, s oliver isn't like isn't a particularly special brand or anything so that'll probably be probably be another vintage one to be honest especially because it's not new with tags it'll probably just end up on vintage next up is it looks like another s oliver brand new with its tags what does it say on it i'm not sure what it is um no idea what that is Address is it? It'd help if it wasn't upside down, wouldn't it? I think it's a top. Yeah, it's top. Floral. Yeah, it's a top. And it is a size 12. Brand new with its tags. I think I've already said that. Sorry if I have repeated myself. Quite nice. Quite like gypsy kind of vibe to it we've still got loads left in here so i'll try and move a little bit quicker otherwise this video is going to be super long like the last ones okay next is just like a i think this is an mm, i'm not sure whether this is an amazon brand or not but it's i'm not sure it's called fit in it's a cheap brand regardless um it's a double xl like yoga sports bra nice color um it's cheap round but it feels quite nice to be fair uh don't think there's very much value to it so again like i said a lot of this i can stick on vintage if it's not worth going on ebay i will put on vintage purely just because just to get my money back more fitting again there's the brand um this is a pack of two i think they're in a medium yeah, pack of two sports bras, exactly the same, just in a different colour. We've got some more sloggies, again these are the ties, these are exactly the same as at the beginning. Again, you can see how squashed the boxes are, it's just damaged boxes, so it's one pair. So I think again, like I said at the beginning, I think it's about £11.99. Um, what's this? Whatever it is, I've not bothered opening it, so let's crack it open. These are sloggy basic plus maxis, which are the ones that seem to sell the quickest for me, which is good. And they seem to be the ones that seem to have the best um, value, not value, yeah. Um, the highest value, there we go. I seem to be able to get more money for the sloggy maxis. I will put a, like a price on screen for what they sell for. This is a pair of Calvin Klein's. Um, I think these are women's ones, if I remember rightly. I don't think the, I don't think these have a huge amount of value. I think it's just one single pair. I think it was something like between 10 and 12 pounds for these. If I remember rightly, it's just a pair of white women's briefs, bikini briefs, just literally a pair of plain white ones. There was a pair of these in the last box but they were a patterned pair but i decided to keep them for myself because they didn't have a huge amount of value these aren't my size though i don't think no these are a small but i will sell these ones like i say because they're not my size so i will sell them this looks like another wonder bra it is a 
here's another wonder bra same nude color as well and is it the this is the full effect push-up so not the ultimate whatever it was that was the last one so i'm not sure how much this one will go for so the full effect push-up i'll put a picture on screen of solds the size 36b again this nude color seems quite popular for the wonder bras actually the nude color um what's this this is another piece by only it's just another dress this one looks like a plain kind of like a brick color what have we got here pretty polly size 14 16 this is just pants there's not really much money in pretty polly but i'll list them anyway because they're brand new tags sloggy again two pairs of the maxi control briefs they should sell all right what is this this looks like a bra i'll have to take it out of the packaging oh this is a spanx it's not a bra it's another spanx what is it is it another spanx song yes that's good because the spanx song like i said sang really well and this is in a size large as well which is even better brand new tags spanx song in a size large they're so stretchy okay stop stretching it i'm gonna stretch it out of shape oh my goodness stop stretching it crikey chloe but yeah they sell really well those spanx songs brand new with their tags and this is in a size large like i said earlier on the last one i sold went 16.99 within 24 hours so i'll probably try this at like 18.99 this time and hope that it goes for that price what's that oh this is more sea folly i'm definitely gonna have to do something about all this in a minute because it is uh there's gonna be an avalanche of stock in a minute sea folly bikini briefs just single bikini bottoms which I don't know whether they're going to sell okay or not without a top but we'll find out they're brand new with tags and they're a size 16 so hopefully but we'll see i have got one pair listed the ones i've got listed are size 10 or 12 i believe and they're in bright orange and so far they are still listed <laughs> um i don't think they've got any watches or anything but like i said i'm not sure whether they'll sell very well because they're just bottoms but we will see looks like more pants probably is really looking at what we've got in front of us a lot of it is pants oh actually it feels like swimwear oh what is this it does feel like swimwear yeah it looks like a swimming costume is it a swimming costume is it the right way around no it's the wrong way around sorry yes yeah, swimming costume i think this is by the brand esprit i don't think there's a huge amount of uh yeah it's by the brand esprit i don't think there's a huge amount of value to this one it's brand new with its tags though which is good brand new with its tags what size are we size 14 these are more sluggies uh, not sure if it's a bra or pants I'm going to open it because I won't sleep if I don't know. Let's open it and see. It's a bra. Is it a bra? Is that a bra? Yeah, it's a bra. It's a triangle bra. Well, that's quite nice. Um, the Everfresh Breathable Anti-Odor Bra. It is 32B. Hopefully that's worth thousands of pounds, but it's doubtful. I'll put it on the screen, what it is worth. Uh, this is a pair of Calvin Klein bikini bottoms, like high waist bikini bottoms. Again, I thought they were quite nice. What size are they? Medium, again, newer tags. Not sure whether they'll sell great just being bikini bottoms on their own, but Oh, there's loads left in here. We've got more sloggy maxi briefs. What is that? 
and I, like I said, I looked through this last night, but I can't remember what half of it is. Oh, this was just an Amazon brand um, swimsuit. It is brand new with tags, and it's a gorgeous colour. It's like a Baywatch colour, isn't it? Um, so I might stick it on Vinted. But it's that Iris and Lily, which I think is an Amazon's own brand, and it's got like a Amazon label on it. So I'll stick that on Vinted, maybe. We've got some Calvin Klein boxes. Not they haven't got their box with them anymore. However, I think I sold them sold some for twenty pounds without their box last week, so I'm happy enough with those. Uh, another Wonder Bra. What is this one? Don't think this one has its tag anymore. It's hanging out the bag, so I'm guessing it's a return. Oh, it's one of those where it's like almost backless, so it goes all the way. It attaches right at the bottom, so that if you've got a dress that's uh, like a, a low back dress you can still wear a bra because it goes right to the bottom um no tag i mean it feels brand new to be fair what size are you be a good size it looks quite big 34d which is quite a common size isn't it i don't know what is it gonna have the name of the bra on it i mean you don't care really do you you just don't care what bra it is you're not bothered why am I wasting time looking at it? We've got some more sloggies, but these are men's. They've come out of the box, but they've kindly included the box for us. Even though I'll probably sell it without the box because the box is absolutely battered. Um, I sold some men's sloggies for £16 last week. But these are boxes and I sold briefs, so I haven't got a clue what boxes go for. I will put it on the screen. I'm going to have to start putting things on the floor now because I'm running out of space on the table. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, these are baby's jeans, but they have a hole in, so I'll get rid of those. Uh, 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 uh. We've got another bra by the look of it. Um, what brand is this one by? Oh, this is a Triumph bra. Again, no tags, so I'll have a good look to make sure that it's not used. Hopefully it is not. Hopefully it's just they took the tag off before they returned it. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, we've got some Lacoste boxes. Um, not sure on those actually. No idea what the return is on those. I'll put those on the screen as well. Uh, what are you? Some kind of sports bra. Yeah? Yeah. That is a Glamorize sports bra. Nice grey and bright green. Glamorized sports bra. This is an empty bag. That's probably worth about 40 quid. Um, jeans. Oh, these ones are broken. They're not worth anything anyway. They're just like a cheap Chinese brand. Um, so cheap, in fact, that they don't have a spare button because the button has come off them. Um, so it would be an easy fix, and I was going to fix them but there is no spare button on the inside label that's how cheap they are they couldn't even stretch to afford a spare button these are more sloggies this is another wonder bra and it oh, is a 34d and it's the ultimate backless push-up so again probably around about 25 at least i would have thought for that this is a i think another triumph bra is it open? Yeah, it's open. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It is another Triumph bra. I'm not sure what one, and it's got no tag, so I will have to double check that it's uh, actually a new one. Let's have a look. Not sure why I'm seeing. I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't see that. I can't. I can't see that. My eyes don't work well enough to see that. Pretty blind. Oh, it's the Amaret. Amaret. I joke about being pretty blind, but if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I am actually. I am actually pretty blind nowadays. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, these are more sea follies. Again, just bottoms, but they're a size 16 and they've got their tag. Quite nice actually, it's a shame they don't have the top because they're quite a nice design, quite funky. 
This one is another Triumph, and this is the Triumph Amaret again. 300W. There's so many different flipping models of Triumph bra that is ridiculous. This is, I think, another Triumph bra. It's just a white padded t shirt bra, to be honest with you. So, who knows? It could be anything. We'll have a quick look. It's a small one. Oh, it's not Triumph. It doesn't say what it is. We've just got a guess. We're not allowed to know what it is. Um, it just says 34B. Made in China. We're not allowed to know what brand that bra is. Which means it will just get donated. Yeah, that one will get donated. I will donate it to the Canadian bank. Another bra, this one is another shock absorber. Which do sell for about 20-ish, I believe. Um, but it depends on what model it is. This is another only dress. It's that Eco Vero material again. Um, but again, they're just not worth very much, so I'll probably stick it on vintage. Are we getting close to the bottom of the box? I'm trying to go as quick as I can because I know this is probably like about a 40 minute long video and if you've made it this far then congratulations. If I had any prizes to give out then you'd definitely win a prize because I know these videos are probably really long. Uh, this is Sloggy again and I think this is a bra again. This is a 36A, yeah so it is bra. Um, I'm guessing it's probably one of the like, zero feel ones again. And um, all these. Sloggy again, I think. Shall we open it and have a look? This is a really huge box. This has got a lot of stuff in. Um, I don't even think I've said how much I paid for this box. I can't even remember how much I paid for this box. I think I paid £250 something. Um, but I can't remember exactly how much. Oh, this is not a bra. Oh, this is another swimsuit by Esprit again. And it is a size. Twelve. Mm -mm. Um, I think it's the same as the other ones that I had. Yeah, it's the same as the other ones. Originally thirty pounds. Probably won't get that much for it, but. Brand new, so. And this is, is this exactly the same? This might be, yep, that is literally exactly the same. Another Esprit swimsuit. It does mean that listing them will be really, really easy though, because I'll just multi-listing them. This, I haven't got a clue what it is. It looks like a kid's white polo t-shirt, you know, like the school ones. But I haven't got a clue what it is. Oh, it's Fruit of the Loom. So yeah, not really worth anything, medium. Fruit of the Loom white t-shirt. So I'll probably just donate that. Because that's not going to get me anything. It'll be probably worth about £3. So I'll donate that. Uh, this was another swimsuit, I believe. I've got no idea whether it's worth anything. It is by the brand Lilla Popkin. I may have said that completely wrong. That I may have said, I probably have said that completely wrong. If I've said it completely wrong, I'm sorry. But it is in a size 16. Brand new tags. Not sure what that's worth, but I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, these are just some socks by Puma. Again, not really worth anything, but I'm sure they'll sell. Lots more boxes of very squashed sluggies on the bottom, but like I say, they they sell regardless, and that they're all ripped. And but they sell regardless as long as the uh, stuff inside isn't damaged. I mean, these boxes are very damaged and tatty, so I will have to check the items inside to make sure they're not damaged and tatty because that one has had some it spilled on it. So I will have to check the items inside to make sure they're okay. Um, but what have we got? We've got double comfort short 
double comfort maxi and more double comfort short i mean these are only the single packs which i do prefer like the multi packs of like three or four because they're the ones that get you like 20 24 pounds whereas these ones will only get you like 11.99 but still they're really easy list what have we got here pretty poly that's all right cheap but brand new so this is more only yeah it's another only dress and we've got playtex yep we've got a playtex i think that's play yeah playtex bra playtex is an okay brand and we've got oh, i ain't got a clue what that is ah spanks okay mm. now i don't know whether that is like my dog's hair that has literally just come straight off my jumper or whether they actually had dog hair in them but they are spanked and they're an extra large and they're the, i think they're the higher power shorts which if they are they sell really well i've already sold a couple of pairs of those and they go for like mm, probably around about 20 pounds i think i've sold two pairs i've sold one pair in a box at 20 pounds and a pair without box like this I think at $17.99, so especially an extra large sale sign, okay. Um, what was this? Oh, this is a champion hoodie. Um, now, my partner opened this and he said it needs a wash. He said it smells, I mean, it feels damp. He said it smells damp. I, I had uh, COVID in June and I still haven't got my sense of smell there lot back yet so i can't actually smell it but he said it smells damp um so it's obviously used don't know why we've ended up with it or it's the i don't know because it doesn't look used but it feels damp and it doesn't look like it's been washed or anything so i don't know but he says it smells musty and damp so i don't know whether it's been like it's got wet and it's been left outside like postage wise i don't know so it says it needs a wash it says it's nice but it needs a wash before we sell it um and i don't know comps on that obviously we'll have to sell that one as used i'll put comps up there and oh these are adorable these are tommy hilfiger baby tights they're so cute they're really cute what are they? Aged 12 to 18 months. They're just adorable. Really sweet. We've got some Jack and Jones boxes. I think there's five pairs in there, so they'll probably get me about £12. We've got another Wonder Bra, and we're nearly at the end. We've nearly made it to the end. Another Wonder Bra, and this is another backless one, I think. Ultimate backless push up, and this is in a size 36 double D. Yeah, it's the same as the one we saw before, so probably about 30 quid. And then we've got, oh, these are a massive pair of bloke swim shorts. No pro, uh, no tag on them, unfortunately. So I'm guessing, tried it on, didn't fit. I'm not sure on the brand, I'll have to look on the manifest. It's just got a JP written in it. Um, 6XL. Oh, there we go. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure what JP stands for. JP1880, but I'll look in the manifest. And I'm not sure if there's any damage on them, but I'm hoping that it's just that they tried them on and they didn't fit. But yes, I'll look at comps. And what else have we got? Oh yeah, I didn't know what this was. Um, still don't know what this is. Uh, is this like a cover-up, I think? Yeah, like a like a little cardigan type thing yeah i think so i can hear tags can't see them where are they there they are and this is by the brand abarilla hmm. doesn't really look look anything special just like a little throw on cover up which i'll probably donate to be fair and these are more sloggies just more sloggy underwear it's really easy to list and it sells pretty well and that two more and that is it you've got another playtex flower elegance bra which we had in the last lot 
this is a large size though the last one was a really small size this one looks like a really decent size and last but not least a pair of calvin klein boxes which sell really quickly for me and they'll probably be about probably only about eight pounds for one pair but eight to ten pounds maybe but yeah that is it we made it finally um if you made it this far into the video well done give yourself a pat on the back because that you deserve a pat on the back go make yourself a cup of tea because you deserve that my low battery just flashed and it paused videos like that that's that's how long it took even my phone was like give it up um but yeah go make yourself a cup of tea if you made it this far well done you deserve it um yeah that's i need to work out how much it cost for each item i'm not going to waffle through the end of the video because if you've made it this far you've watched enough of me by now um yeah i will see you in another video um thank you for watching if you enjoyed it do give it a thumbs up if you are new here and you want more reselling content do consider subscribing it would mean a lot to me and yeah comment down below if you think it was worth it or not and if you want to see more of these like unboxings or if you don't want to see more if like you don't want to see these kind of videos let me know that as well because then at least i know to not sit here for 45 minutes filming them um yeah and i'll see you in my next video everybody bye